In Colossians 4, Paul tells us that Christians have a mission from God to share the mystery of Christ. And the truth about Jesus can be a mystery to a lot of people. But in the passage, Paul's talking to us and saying we have this responsibility to share Jesus prayerfully with discernment and wisdom. In fact, in verse 6, he goes on to say that we need the wisdom to know how to answer each individual person. So wisdom means recognizing people to, that they're different and they have different experiences and attitudes and knowing how to answer each one. Last summer, Pastor Larry taught about what's called the five thresholds. It's just an observation that people in our day often go through multiple thresholds or many conversions be before they come to faith in Jesus. So what are the five thresholds? First, trust. People move from distrust of Christians and distrust of the church to being at least able to trust one Christian. Secondly, people move to curiosity. They move from indifference to being curious about your faith. Third, change. People move from closeness to change to an openness to Christianity and an openness to change. And fourth, seeking. People move from meandering to intentionally asking and seeking answers to their questions. And finally, people move from unbelief to belief, faith and following Jesus as Lord and Savior. These thresholds are a wisdom tool to help you begin to answer the person in front of you, prayerfully discerning where they are and starting there to help them move each step closer to Jesus. So suppose that you have a friend who doesn't trust you or doesn't trust Christians in general. If you invite them to church, do you think they'll come? No, you have to begin by building trust. So this is liberating because it helps us to think of evangelism not as always propositioning someone to come to faith in Jesus, but in taking small practical steps to move them towards trust and curiosity and openness to change. So here's where you can start. Pray to God that he'll show you one person that you can invest in and build trust with this week. Second, once you have clarity on who that person is, make a plan to build trust with them this week. Maybe just ask questions, offer to help them, ask for their help, be sincere, honest, and authentic with them. Imagine if our church went into our community every day asking for God to open doors to help us build trust and to give us fruitful opportunities to share the good news of Jesus. So let me challenge you, walk in wisdom this week as you seek to share Christ.